Welcome to Daniel Reviews. I'm Daniel Goodwin, and today I'm going to cover how I can power my EcoFlow Delta Pros with a fixed, rigid solar panel array. Let's go. I've talked about this before, but I have uh, uh, a system of Delta Pros hooked into my house uh, main circuit board, main panel, and um, I power most of my house with the Delta Pros. It's early morning or mid morning and uh, already getting solar panel, solar, solar power coming into my Delta Pro. And I wanna talk about how, um, how I am able to try to maximize the, the amount of solar power that comes into the Delta Pros. Okay, so as you can see, here is a solar panel array. This is a semi-permanent array um, that I have out here. Most of my solar panels are on the roof of my house but I'm not gonna take my camera and climb up there and try to film that. It's, uh, I've already fallen off my roof once in my life. I don't want that to happen twice. So I thought I'd show you this one, which I just have set out in the yard. Um, I can easily take it down if I needed to, but it works for now. Like I said, it's early morning, mid morning. The sun hasn't quite reached high enough above the trees to start hitting this panel or array of panels, but um, it will in probably about another hour and these will be producing at peak uh well maybe not peak but certainly much more than they are right now so i have three panels there three panels there three panels there that's a total of nine we're going to talk about how they're wired and uh kind of go through some basic math which i hope won't be too overwhelming okay so each one of these panels is a 250 watt panel and how they figure that out is that they take each of these panels, if you look at their specs or look on the back, they're gonna say that they produce a certain amount of voltage and a certain amount of amperage, each one. This one, or these, produce about 30 some odd volts at about eight some odd amp, uh, amps. So if you wire them in series, that means I connect this one to this one to the next one, that means that when you do that, it adds the voltage together. So this 30 plus that 30 plus that 30, it's gonna get me a total of 90 some odd volts, but it keeps the same eight amps. So you get 90 some odd volts times eight some odd amps, you're gonna get about, about, <laughs> we'll say 800 watts. Well, maybe a little more, but we'll say 800 watts, and that's in good sunlight condition, right? So obviously three of these panels is not going to max out my uh, a Delta Pro because it can take 1600 watts. So I could probably put another panel <clears throat> in this and have four, which would increase my volts to, let's say 120 times eight. It's gonna get, gosh, 960 watts. Um, but I couldn't add any more than that because these are the, very important to remember, okay, I'm coming in for this. Very important to remember, the Delta Pro can only take up to 150 volts. You, it's very important that you don't exceed that. If you do, you could damage your Delta Pro. Trying to maximize the solar input of the Delta Pro is a balancing act. There is a 150 volt limit on the Delta Pro that you do not want to exceed because it could cause irreparable damage to your Delta Pro, if you did. Um, and then there's a 15 amp limit on the uh, current. The Delta Pro will not draw more than 15 amps. Now you can, you can feed a bunch more amps to the Delta Pro. It will only take what it needs, which is again, around that 15 amp mark. So with the solar panels that I purchased for the Del Delta Pro setup that I have, uh, I got them from Santan Solar. I'll put the link in the URL below. Um, not saying that you should, I'm not getting endorsed by them, just telling them where I got mine. And they were 250 watts panels. I got 20 of them, a pallet shipped to my house, which is shipping is just fair warning. Shipping is quite expensive because solar panels are huge and bulky. And, um, you know, they basically have to ship it by freight, but I got them shipped to my house, to my door for about $50 a panel, which I think is incredible. I mean, it was almost nothing you can get of <laughs> that size for $50 a piece. Now you do have to order 20 of them, but uh, I figured I could always add more solar to more things. They are really good 
and uh, work really well with the Delta Pro. Um, but regardless of what panel you, you choose, whether it's the ones I used or a different set, what you really want to keep in mind is the amperage limit and the voltage limit of the Delta Pro working together. And just to keep things simple, Let's imagine you've got a string of panels that, that produces 10 amps and let's say 80 volts, just for simple math. You're not going to maximize the Delta Pro with that. And why not? Again, it's basic math, right? Like so 80 volts times 10 amps, 800 watts in one string. So you put another string parallel together and you, you would you think 80 times 10, 800 watts in one string, 800 watts in the other, 1600 watts, let's max out the Delta Pro. Doesn't work that way because the Delta Pro only takes 15 amps. So it's only gonna take about half from the other one. So what you'll see in real world is probably, real world would be more like 1000 watts, but even theoretically, you would only get about 1200 watts into the Delta Pro. So adding more parallel strings bumps against the 15 amp limit, adding more panels in series, goes against the voltage limit. So you want to find a panel that allows you to put them in string uh, or parallel that doesn't exceed the 15 amp and doesn't exceed the 150 voltage, um, but gets you to that, as close to that 1600 watt as possible. Hopefully that helps. Um, I think it's much more affordable to buy rigid panels than, um, portable panels right now. Um, they also are also much better for weather conditions and it's a lot easier to just set them in place on your roof or wherever and not have to go out and deal with them ever again, in my opinion. But that's how I power mine. And like I said, it was very affordable. That's where I saved most of the money. I spent more on the Delta Pro system and saved on the solar panels. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.